first with breaking news this midday. New information on last night's deadly helicopter crash in Knoxville. Clayton Homes founder Jim Clayton was on board and is one of the surviving victims. WATE 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown joins us now live along the Tennessee River at the scene of the crash. Jordan. Well, guys, we're still gathering information piece by piece, but we are learning this midday from KPD the identities of the passengers that were on that plane. We now know 80, the founder of Clayton Homes, 86-year-old James Clayton, 65-year-old John McBride, and 40-year-old Flint Griffin all survived the crash. Now, the passenger that did not survive has not been named yet, but we're also learning from the NTSB that that helicopter will be pulled from the water at some point today. The investigation, the investigation will not be coming to the scene due to COVID-19 concerns, but once the helicopter is salvage, salvaged, it will be moved to a remote location to be examined. Now, we know that the craft was a Eurocopter EC-130. It went down yesterday evening, not far from the landing pad. Now, the NTSB says it's unclear at this time whether it went down right after departure or on the way back or returning to the helipad, but the investigation is expected to reveal the probable cause of that crash. Crews did locate a body last night, and again, that person has not been named, but we will continue to check in with the NTSB and local authorities for updates on this case. But for now, I'll toss it back to you, Tirsa. All right, thank you so much, Jordan. And yeah, we do want to get more on this again. Jim Clayton, John McBride, Flint Griffin, and again, that fourth person has not been named. We will continue to follow this story and keep you updated. Now, it is worth mentioning that the crash site is within a few hundred feet of Jim Clayton's home along the riverfront. If you're not familiar, Jim Clayton is not only the founder of Clayton Homes, but a well-known philanthropist in our area. Most recently, Clayton and his foundation have been working to fund a new science museum slated to be built near downtown Knoxville. Of course, we'll keep you up to date on this investigation.